My name's Tommy Banks. I always wanted to be a cricketer growing up. Ended up being a chef. We put it on. I can't even get it on. Oh! These lads, they ended up being cricketers, but they quite like cooking. So, let's see who the best chef is in Yorkshire County Cricket Club. Right, we'll start with the coaches. Pete, what are you cooking? Uh, we're doing, we'll start with an appetizer of a mango daiquiri just to get the, the juices flowing. Nice. And then, uh, and then we're doing a Vietnamese chili beef um, and papaya salad inspired through uh, travels of Southeast Asia. So Very nice. We can bring that to you today. Nice, sounds quite healthy as well. Yeah, relatively, yeah. yeah. Well, with with the daiquiri. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Top it with the, with the alcohol to make up for that. Sounds very nice. Anything you're worried about? Uh, just there's a lot of uh, a lot of chopping work, but once we've got that done, and that once like the if, as long as we get that executed how we want it, then the motion should, should be flying. Right, Harry, Matt, what are you guys cooking? Um, we've gone for a pan seared halibut with chorizo sauce, potato, and tempura samphire. Wow. Okay, mm. that sounds very ambitious. Yeah, well, we know we know the calibre of chef that we're working for, so we did really want to impress him. Oh, you're buttering me up as well. Yeah. So you, you boys been practising then? Uh, yeah, a little bit of preparation. I think it, in our cricket we try to prepare as much as we can and we've tried to do this in the kitchen. Well, let's see if you can handle the heat of the kitchen then. Definitely, looking forward to it. Right, so we've got one hour to cook these dishes. May the best team win. Steaks here. Yeah. Waitrose finest. As it was the closest shopping. Oh, yeah, it's not, a new, not a new sponsorship, do you? Yeah, no, <laughs> I I wouldn't I'd love to say I shop at Waitrose, but So you got a lot of chopping to do then? Yeah, so pretty much the biggest or oh, the most difficult sort of time consuming part of the uh, part of the dish is just getting the prep really. Yeah. So we just need to get get the veg into pickle straight away. Then that gets a bit of time to uh, to kind of the pickle in that. And then we can get going on the dressing. Rich is in charge of the meat today after he finishes up with the, with the appetizer. Uh, and after that, we can just sit, wait for the meat to, do, to be done and then we can plate it up. So nice. hopefully we should be, should be on track for the uh, time-wise, really. So papaya salad can be quite spicy, can't it? Is this going to be quite a spicy uh, one? Yeah, or? it'll have a kick to it. Um, not, like, not overly, it shouldn't be, it's not going to blow your head off, but it should be just sort of hitting your back of a little bit towards the end. Do you yeah. cook a lot, Rich? Um, I do a bit, but not adventurous. I've uh, got a young family at home, so I try and cook nearly every night for them. Oh, right. um, but, you know, living through the winters when I was younger, doing a bit of travelling, playing cricket, um, spending a lot of time in Australia, New Zealand, so quite a few steaks in my time, so nice. hopefully I uh, can get it right for today. dish is inspired by travels in uh, in Asia. What's your uh, dish inspired by? <laughs> <laughs> to be brutally honest, like we've never cooked this before, halibut. We just wanted yeah. to challenge but ourselves. We wanted to challenge ourselves um, and try and put something together that we're really happy with. Um, so cooking fish is one of the more precise things you'd ever have to do as a chef. Yeah. What's your uh, what's your technique for that? Um, well, hopefully we can show you perfectly later. <laughs> but, um, we'll, we're going to try and get the oil onto the fish because you don't want to, you don't really want to fry halibut. Right. I don't think you can tell me whether <laughs> I'm right on that. You want to try and put the oil on the fish rather than in the pan. Right. Okay. So are you uh, daiquiri drinkers then? Is that your go-to beverage on a night out? Uh, not as much, not really. <laughs> not really. But why not give it a go? Just trying to give it a, 
a yeah. bit of a match to what we're making. So, yeah. 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 Nice. so uh, obviously on the coaching side, I think like obviously you got steak, nice salad. Is that the type of thing you want your your players eating? Uh, yeah, well, I'm a strength and conditioning coach, so I like to encourage good, healthy habits uh, as much as I can. Um, so yeah, so that's what we thought. We'd set the example for him today and uh, show that healthy food can still taste nice. It doesn't have to be doesn't have to be uh, covered in butter and cream. So, do you uh, do you cook at home much then? Yeah. So well, this is this is where we feel like they've got a little bit more experience than us. So we've we've only just moved out of our family homes about a year or two ago. A bit more so, life um, experience. So yeah, they've got a little bit more experience in the kitchen. I'm only 29, I'm not um, 45. 20, 25 years of experience over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more than us, so yeah. we're definitely the underdogs. We're just here to enjoy it really, yeah. aren't we, Fish? That's yeah, no pressure really. On As players though, you've got to look after yourself, haven't you, nutrition-wise? You do, yeah. Um, do you have many takeaways and stuff, or are you always uh, no. looking? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's the takeaway? Timing-wise, how much are you at the pub in Olstead or in your car? Uh, just a bit of both, really. Yeah, wherever I'm needed. Yeah. Um, because they're quite different restaurants, it's quite nice to yeah. be able to sort of do one thing one night and yeah. another thing yeah. uh, another night. So, um, yeah, I enjoy being able to switch it up. Yeah. I hear you lads have had a little bit of help. You've been, uh, you've been preparing beforehand, but you've been to see a chef, haven't you? Uh, yeah. Richard, are you coming on there? Got a little bit of experience. Yeah? So you thought you'd tap up a master chef and uh, give you a hand. Exactly. Yet. I thought, <laughs> best way to prepare, isn't it? Yeah. Ask a friend. It's not what you know, it's who you know, isn't it? <laughs> Harry approached me at a party on Saturday night, Friday night, and uh, said that they had this plan, so, um, it, it has been a very quick and sort of basic introduction. You're, these guys are doing it themselves, so um, yeah, good luck. Pete's just trying to find excuses because I don't need so excuses. Have you cooked? Do you never cooked halibut before? But have you cooked fish generally before? Uh, salmon. Salmon, yeah. Yeah, that's quite easy, though, isn't it? I don't know. Just put it in an oven. So we've got vine tomatoes in there, uh, vine down first because I think the flavours come from the vine. Um, and then the chorizo around it and a little bit of garlic. We're going to spray it with a little bit of oil and then into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so give that a roast in, yeah? Yeah. So you just left it on for flavour? Yeah. What when do you think to that? Is that about right? Oh, I don't really, I don't really give anything away. When you're watching other people cook, do you cringe like, like that? Like what we're, we're doing. And you see, is that what you're... You definitely cringe if you saw yeah. me in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> right lads, we're halfway through now, so half an hour to go. So when you've been bowling, do you fill your boots if you're not going yeah. to do that? Well, I'm, I'm a bit different, like, you don't want to be too heavy, like, on a red ball game, or yeah. white ball game either, like, bowling-wise, so... You're probably trying to get quite a lot of carbs in because you'll need the energy. Yeah. Um, try not to eat too much. I try and have really, really big breakfast.
get a real buzz out of cooking and, and certainly out of um, doing like competitions like Great British Menu, MasterChef, things like that. But uh, the nice thing about cooking is uh, you, can, you can work all day and you can still walk the next day. When I play cricket, I'm no good for about four days afterwards. Yeah, you've had to... Yeah, yeah. Burn in the background there. How much of a crossover is the GPL, obviously, you know, some of these lads are trying to look after themselves and make sure they're fit, healthy, yeah. um, you know, and in a good condition. Um, how much of a crossover have they been played sport and yeah. being a chef? Is the GPL? I think... <laughs> I thought he lost the finger. <laughs> I think there's a lot of crossovers between sport and, and business and life in general. I think uh, certainly being in a team environment, I think, is something really good. Growing up, Playing cricket all the time, captaining cricket teams, you get used to dealing with people and getting the best out of people and, and interacting well as a team. So I think you get a lot of good experience uh, through sport into life, definitely. Finally, for now, you can you can sense that competitive edge, whether it be sport, whether it be cookery. It sort of spans all, all forms of um, all forms of life, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think when you get athletes, they're always quite competitive. You got a burn? Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, you can see now the pressure's uh, the pressure's on. Rich is cooking his steak now. It's gone in the pan. The thing is, with cooking competitions, you think you've got all the time in the world. You get down to that last 20 minutes, it just disappears. Soon, I'll be saying there's 10 minutes left, and then we'll see them start to sweat. Cheeky Nando's. How, uh, how hot do you have your wings at Nando's? Medium. Medium. Yeah. Do you agree to Nando's much? Very tame. I frequented it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on there, the fish? Uh, just put What's on the fish, fish? Put the chorizo oil. Oh. On nice. On the fish. And then we'll sear it on the, in the pan. You do a halibut. See, yeah. this side here where the skin would have been, yeah. that's where there's quite a lot of fat. Yeah. So if you cook it on that side more than the other side, yeah. it'll, uh, that fat will protect it and stay nice and juicy and moist. Perfect. Yeah. Into the last 10 minutes then, you're feeling pretty chilled out? Yeah. Pretty chill, we've got the steak done. Uh, yeah. We're just letting it cool down now and, uh, and simmer. Pizza on with the salad, sink control Just about with that. to dress it. Just about to dress the salad, so we've had our uh, daiquiri. Yeah. Just calmed us down a little bit halfway through, so just yeah. give your chicks a little bit uh, of a plate rose as well. Yeah, it's delicious. But yeah, we're uh, pretty confident at this stage, but We'll see how the steak's cooked, that's the afternoon. That is the key thing. I think with a simple dish like that, everything's got to be perfect, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
Carnage over here. Time's up. There we go, bang on time. Happy? Yeah. Yeah? Fairly, yeah. yeah fairly. Got, got, a bit, uh, got a bit heated towards the end. Yeah, I think we were rushed a little bit. A little bit rushed. I think it takes just over an hour to make that, so we tried to, tried yeah. to get it in. Red cheeks, I reckon. It's, it's warm in here, isn't it? I thought you were doing tempura sampan. Yeah, no, it was too hot. A few health and safety. Just take that into consideration, please, Judge. <laughs> See the creativity of their team, they were done 15 minutes ago, like, it's just, to do a salad, it's Simplicity lack of creation it's from well, what the Ignorance to our culinary progress now. Proof is just good in lads, we've got to eat it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. See, should we go eat it? Right, well done guys. It was a bit of a push to do that in an hour, but it all looks great. So starting with you lads then, what have you got? We have a, a pan seared halibut with um, potato and chorizo sauce with an onion vule. Um, an onion, it's like an onion sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with it? Yeah, very happy. A little yeah. bit, we've run out of time a little bit on the uh, tempura samphire, but yeah, fairly happy. Nice. So cooking fish is like the hardest thing to do. That's the most precise skill in the kitchen. So you chose probably the hardest thing to yeah. do. D difficulty level, we wanted it to be 10 out of 10. So. He's <laughs> <laughs> done this with <laughs> that. I'd say it's cooked very well. Thank you. Really well. Pardon me. Liar! <laughs> no, it is. It's uh, you got a nice uh, colour on the top. That's really important. Like a bit of caramelisation. That's where all the flavour is. Yeah. Still nice and soft in the middle. Yeah. yeah I'll try. Yeah. Try this place. That was you, was yeah, it? That was me. Yeah. See what you think. I think that fish, for the first time cooking it, is cooked really very well. Should be happy with that. It's quite a sloppy dish, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we, it's not an excuse really, but we didn't have a sieve. We would have <laughs> sieved out the lumps in the sauces to make them a little bit more of the same texture and consistency, but hopefully the flavours are still coming through. Are you good mm. lads? I mean, that's a big bit of fish, Rich. 
<laughs> bit overcooked, but. <laughs> bit overcooked. <laughs> He's the professional, man. What do you think uh, to the flavours? Come on, let's, let's put our battles aside now. We can be nice to each other. Yeah. Nah. Potato's a little bit bland. I do like the trichso sauce. I, I feel like I think it's very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah who, who chose the wine? It was. It was. <laughs> well, Google did. Yeah. Serving on Blanc, your go-to. Uh, no, I don't really drink my. I don't drink anymore. No. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, I think all in all, that's a great effort. Uh, fish is cooked really well. I think the chorizo sauce is is really tasty. Potato is a bit flowery. I, I agree with you on that. Um, Maybe a shame about the samphire. Uh, you didn't get that on because that would have just given the dish a bit more uh, and a bit more sort of veg to it as well. Yeah. But a really good effort. Uh, I think you should be really proud of yourself. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So pretty successful first dish. I think you guys thought it was thought it was a good effort. Yeah, as much as I hate to say it, it was it was it was alright. Nice. Very so nice. Acceptable. Acceptable. Do you think yours is better? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Right. So what's the name of it? So it's a Vietnamese um, chili beef and papaya. Uh, salad. Um, we've got extra dressing if you want it and uh, extra peanuts, roasted peanuts on top. Do you feel like the players have maybe got a few more elements going on in their dish? They've rolled the, rolled the bar a bit. bit. Yeah, but I feel like ours shows a bit more, a bit more skill from a technical point of view with our knife skills. And uh, simplicity, you don't, you don't want to overcomplicate a dish, do you? I think we've just been true to ourselves. Yeah. yeah. This is probably what we would cook at home. I'm not too sure if they cook that at home. They've had a little bit of help. Um, so, true to ourselves, so I'm happy with it. Are you happy with the cooking degree of the meat? Mm, maybe a little bit overdone. Uh, I found it hard because we had a real thick slice of steak. Mm. I found it hard to make sure it was right all the way through. So maybe a, a fraction too long. But uh, it's okay. <laughs> he, Rich told me that he's the best steak cooker in the country as well earlier. So. Really? What do you reckon to this steak? I like my steak medium rare. This is like been in the kiln for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. We give you some nice comments. <laughs> there, yeah. We give you some nice comments on your food. No, you're just firing in. Are you not worried at this time of year, pre-season? You want to be nice to the coaches because they might put you through the ringer. And be fitness for the rest of the week. No. He's got fitness testing coming up, so I remember that. Nice. What do you think to the salad? I like the uh, sauce dressing with it. Mm. That's nice. Lovely. I think the marinade on the steak's delicious. I think the, the way it's been cooked, the caramelisation is really good. The salad is is absolutely delicious. Like really crunchy, really fresh, nice acidity. The fish sauce is really tasty. Well, that is a delicious papaya salad. But I think the, the steak is a bit overcooked, isn't it? The drink's delicious. I think... Uh, get, a, get a bit more of that onion, you it, might think it's <laughs> I think you've won the drinks battle. Uh, I, th I think both dishes are really tasty. Like the seasoning, everything's re seasoned really nice in yours and in this as well. Like papaya salad is a simple thing, but you've got to balance it really well. And I think you've done that, like, nice amount of acidity in there. Uh, seasoning's really good. Fish sauce is delicious, but I'm going to give it to the boys. Yes. Oh, well, just on their protein cooking. I think they uh, they cook the fish really well. They're not going to give you any free tickets. Just <laughs> <laughs> the boys on the chef behind. Yeah. Get yeah. 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 it. They're not going to let this go, are they? Just I know. I can only judge it on what I've what yeah. I've eaten, and uh, I think well done. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Cheers, you very much. Thank you very much. I can't even get it on. <laughs> Wait, he's helmet, he's got a big head. Oh, yeah! <laughs>